where are my data resellers move closer move closer in this video i'm going to teach you how to design your data flyer yourself without paying penny to any graphic designer this has been an issue to all data resellers especially those that are new in the business they find it difficult to design flyer for their business and whenever they consulted any graphic designer they charge them higher what for don't worry don't panic calm down in this video i'm going to teach you how to design a data flyer yourself if you have been following my video very well you know that i talk about data reselling business quite often because this is the business i do for a living yes you heard me right so i can't watch my fellow colleagues to suffer for what i know how to teach better if this video is for you make sure you watch this video to the end and if you are watching my video for the first time welcome to this channel my name is Okoyemi. don't forget to click on the subscribe button before leaving here so let's get started what you need to do is to go to your play store or apple store and download canva this is the app i'll be using to teach you on how to design this data flyer yourself just like this i just did this and i'll be teaching you how i did just that so firstly go to your play store and download this app called canva Canva is on play store and it has a free version it also has a paid version so i have it already on my phone so if you don't have it you have to download it so open canva app. so this is just how the interface of the canva is so after then go to your chrome browser you want to download a free background go to this website called freepick.com can you see click on it so click on free white background so search for it so they have a lot of backgrounds here that you can use to design your flyer go ahead and download it if you want to download it just hold your screen down like this then click on download image then after then go to the website again freepick.com search for excited man search for it we need an image for our design so let me just go with the first one i click on it i hold it down i click on download image can you see download image the image will be downloaded on your phone so after that go to this website called remove.bg we want to remove the background of our image the image that we just downloaded now click on upload image can you see the image now click on it then click on done to remove the background image so after that click on download can you see the progressive bar it is downloaded on my phone so after that we also need a logo for our design how do you source for a logo go to this website called render forest renderforest.com we have to source for our logo if you don't have a logo source for a free logo here then click on start now click on logo then put the name of your business free data heavy data services click on generate can you see this is the keyword data services cable subscription click on generate so this one will sort the one that matches your business so you can just look for wherever you are satisfied with then you download it you can download any of the logo so let's assume we want to download this we have to hold it down click on the logo you want to download then click on it then click on download image so go back to this website again go to render go to remove those bg to remove the background of the logo so click on upload click on the logo then click on done to remove the background of the logo then click on download at the lower part of your screen click on download let's go back to business why are we here we want to design a data flyer so click on this plus icon at the down part of your screen i'm on canva right now click on this plus icon then click on custom size put a custom size of 1080 by 1920 that is the custom size for whatsapp status you want to post it for whatsapp status now we are here 
click on gallery can you see gallery at the down part of your screen gallery click on gallery we want to import our background you see this background then click add to page click on add to page so after then click on the image that we just imported click on it and hold it down use just a finger to click on it and hold it down so scroll to the left hand side click on set image as after that the image will fill up the background space because we've used the image as the background of our design i hope you are following if you don't understand any of this video please drop a comment under the comment section now let's go ahead and import our image so click on this cancel icon at the down part of your screen click on this cancel and go to gallery again we want to import our image click on gallery can you see the image that will remove the background this is it right here then click on it click on add to page make sure you resize this image to wherever you want it to be and then let's import our logo go to gallery this is the logo that we just removed the background click on add to page so this is our logo then just make sure the logo is okay we want to reduce the size just hold on to one of the edges then let's go back to our design click on this cancel at the down part of your screen then go to elements click on elements so click on this image this shape rather click on it just go back just use two of your fingers to draw it closer to you two of your fingers to draw this image closer to you so after then click on the image we want to remove the background color of this image click on color then scroll down to select a color let's give it a yellow color can you see this is a yellow color then close it so so let's resize this image let's resize it so can you see the way i'm resizing it i hold on to one of the edges then i resize. I click on the image i click on duplicate look at duplicate at the top of your screen this plus icon at the top of your screen can you see this plus icon at the top of your screen is used for duplicate two arrows there click on this one with plus icon it's just like a crop icon then use it to drag then click on test can you see test click on test then let's input our test click on add a subheading can you see add a subheading just make sure you drag it to the inside the image click on the test can you see this plus icon at the down part of add a subheading just make sure you are dragging it let's put empty in again the test again rather then click on duplicate i hope you know what to use to duplicate your test or anything this plus icon at the top of your screen click on plus the test will be duplicated for you if you want to duplicate again click on plus it will be duplicated can you see then you can drag it wherever you want to drag it to and boss then you see color at that part of your screen slide up to put the color this is the red color then click on the close icon click on the etl test then put it inside the boss so i hope you are following if you haven't subscribed to my channel if you haven't followed my page click to follow me for more tips so click on this close icon at the down part of your screen close it close the tab at the down part of your screen click on element we want to take a shape to click on this previous shape use two of your fingers to drag it nearer yes after that click on back then click on an empty space click on the image to change the color let's change the color to white so the color has been changed to white so i think this is okay so if you want to duplicate it click on the plus at the top of your screen to duplicate it so drag it under etl2 at the same level this ruler will guide you then click on this empty end shape click on it the empty end shape okay so click on duplicate then drag it use that plus icon can you see this plus icon use it to drag it duplicate it again drag it just hold it and drag it to the down part of the second side 
So click on this white shape with this white space, click on it, then click on duplicate. Drag it to the down part of your screen. Click on this image. Let's take this image aside. Can see? Let's, let me just reduce the size of the image. I drag it. I make sure I click on one of the edges, then I, I drag it down. Can you see it is dragged down? So we can also increase it later, but for now, let's place our shapes very well. Click on the second shape and click on plus icon to duplicate it. It's okay. Then let's duplicate our... Okay, we have one MTN here. Let's drag it. Let's change the text and the color. Click on the text to change it. Let's change it to glow. So let's change it to glow. We want to change this text color. This left hand side, click on color. Give it a white color or let's say green color rather. Let's give it a green color. Drag it inside this space. Drag it. I'm dragging it. The text keeps appearing at the back of the shape so i just delete it so let me take one of my previous tests let me click on this empty and then duplicate again so drag on it i think this one is okay then let me change the color but if i want to change the color don't forget you have to slide to the left hand side click on color let's change it to white color can you see this is white color so let me just change the background color if you want to change the background color click on the background I want to change the background color of this icon. So let me just click on it again. Can you see it is highlighted for me? So let me change the color to green. Green color. Don't click on change or click on this cancel icon at the top. Can you see? So now let me duplicate this MTN again. Then I drag it here. Then I change the text to 9 mobile the shape so i quickly drag the text outside then i increase my shape a bit so that it will fit into my test then i click on the test i drag it back inside my shape and it fits into it in the background color to light green i think this is okay good i hope you are following me I'm going to do next is that I want to put a test inside this my white space inside those my white space I want to put a test there so now let's write our test inside this test box so if you want to do that click on this element click on elements take a shape again you can take our previous shape the second one take a shape click on any of the shapes so this is it then use your two fingers to drag it closer to you. So this is the box that we just inputted. Let's change the color to, click on color to change the color to white. So we have a white box here. Don't forget, I went ahead and take another shape. I didn't duplicate our previous shapes. So I've copied the text I want to input into this place. Was I hold it down, click on it, click on the shape. Hold it down. I I hold the screen down to paste my test. My test is pasted already. Before dragging it, I need to duplicate it. So I click on it. Then I click on duplicate. So it is duplicated. I click on it again. It is duplicated. I need four. So I click on it. It is duplicated. So that is four. So let me input the test inside the box. Can you see? Then we take the second one and input inside the box. The third one to input inside the box. The fourth one input inside the box. Wow. Our flyer is getting ready. If you want to change the price, just click on it. Maybe you want to change this one to, let's say you want to change to 400. Can you see? It's as simple as that. So, you can just fix your prices, but this is just an example. To put our account number, click on this close. We have to take our test. Click on test. Add a heading. Drag it down. 
so you can put your account details here put account number this is here so for the sake of this tutorial i've copied it already so let me just paste my account details here you drag it up can you see drag it up this is how you put your account details so this is your account details change the fonts click on the test click on it then click on fonts at the down part of your screen let's change the font to legal i think this is okay so this is the account details you can reduce the size go now so can you see so if you want to put your phone number you can just do the same thing just drag it up and put your phone number here i think i'm okay with this so this is just how to design your flyer thank you very much for watching i will see you in my next video now that you have learned how to design your data flyer yourself i hope you will try it out one of these days so don't forget to follow me for more tips and i would love to see you in my next video